In 1989, while Tupac attended a dance function, he met Layla Steinberg. Layla was developing workshops in which young people could express themselves. They immediately connected and arranged to meet the very next day. The very first day we met, he ended up coming from Marin City to this place with me that same day, and we did our little workshop here that night. And then from that night on, he was part of our group. He thought I was like the perfect package to get him where he needed to go. He told me what was going on at his house, and within a couple months I realized that his mother was so addicted that his house was too dysfunctional to have a career, to keep going to school. So within a couple months he ended up coming to stay at my house. 7465 Bridget Drive. And this is the apartment that I was living in with my husband and my children. And Pac and Ray came to stay with me here. He was the sloppiest, messiest person I've ever lived with. And dirty. He would never want to wash clothes. He'd want to, like, buy new clothes so he wouldn't have to clean up and wash stuff. At 17, he was wide-eyed and really believed that he could change the world. I think adults should go through school again. You know, I think that... I think that rich people should live like poor people and poor people should live like rich people and it should change every week. Our relationship was really a, rela a relationship that we searched for knowledge, you know, we explored together. And I'll just tell you a book right now, you know, it's been around for a long time. It's called Ponder on This. The stuff we were exploring together, food for thought, alignment, the ancient mysteries, astrology, the Buddha, challenge, Christ, the impact of color, our state of consciousness, medicine, the moon, the occult teachings, Rajneesh, telepathy, the Kabbalah, the Tibetan Book of the Dead. He read Roots a number of times, Talar Shardin, the phenomenon of man. And as you study Tupac's lyrics, you start to know and understand how much he incorporated his reading, even his last albums. So Pop would read a book like this, you know, it's a pretty big book, and he would attack people's definitions. So what is cultural literacy, and who defines it, and is this white perspective, or is this multicultural perspective? There should be a drug class, there should be sex education, there should be a class on scams, there should be a class on religious cults, there should be a, a class on police brutality, there should be a class on apartheid, there should be a class on racism in America, there should be a class on why people are hungry, but they're not. Their class is on gym. This right here is the first hall that Tupac performed in, and it was the Kraft, EC Kraft Community Building, and Pac did this with Digital Underground, packed the place. I had talked to Atrin and I wanted to get us a deal and he said we had to make a video. We decided to have our own mini concert here on the grass so that we should, could show Atrin how tight we were. And so all the kids in the building were our audience right here on the grass and that was the stage behind the trees and we had the Strictly Dope show. <laughs> And this is where we made our tape that I sent to Atron that got Pakistan deal. 